Good evening. I'm Caroline Arisman, Executive Director of the Cornelia Connolly Center. Welcome to our 2021 virtual benefit. For those of you who are new to CCC, our mission is to champion under-resourced girls to reach their full potential. Students enter our program in the fourth or fifth grades where we provide a challenging curriculum, extracurricular opportunities, and social emotional support through the eighth grade. Then CCC continues to provide financial and academic support for our graduates in high school and through college graduation. Thank you so much for joining CCC tonight to celebrate our inspiring students. I'm grateful for your support. And now I'm delighted to welcome one of our graduates, Marlia Jones, who will start the evening with a prayer. Take it away, Marlia. You are here, touching every heart. I worship you, I worship you. You are here, healing every heart. I worship you, I worship you. darkness my god that is who you are that is who you are way maker miracle worker promise keeper light in the darkness my god that is who you are that is who you are who the Amen. Hey, all right. Thank you, Marley. Hi, everybody. John Curley here. Gosh, I wish we were all together. I do normally about 80 live auctions all around the country. At least I did in 2019. And uh, you guys, you know, you are, and I know this sounds not authentic, but you are my favorite. I absolutely adore CCC. I'm still waiting for my sweatshirt with my name on the back, by the way. I just want to let you know that. I have to tell you this, that it was, I think, four or five years ago. I walked into the doors to do the auction. I walk in. I'm a little nervous. I don't know everybody there. And these two young ladies meet me at the door. And they are, I, I mean, spectacular. I, the one that I think was in fourth grade or fifth grade. Hi. And they introduced themselves. And they asked me my name. And I said, well, it's so nice to meet you. And they said, what can we do for you? I said, well, I'm the auctioneer. Oh, that's great. And they walked me right up to the stage. And they introduced me to some people. And they talked to me about my job and what I like doing about it. And I was sold. I mean, just absolutely sold. So here's my promise that if I come back in another life, I am Catholic. But if I do come back, I'm coming back as a student at CCC. So just want to let you know, just warn all the teachers out there that I'm coming back for that. Okay. We only have a half an hour. We've got a lot of work to do. And those of you that are big supporters, in fact, let's take a look at some of the supporters. These are the people that have been sponsoring CCC. Either they're new, the first time in. There's a big long list of everyone. You recognize many of those names. And if you're already watching and you're already a believer in what the Cornelia Connolly Center does, then this evening is really about showing the young ladies how much we care. You know about the amazing statistics. You know about the 97% that graduate and go on to great colleges. You know that already. That's why you're watching. That's why you give. That's why those sponsors were giving as well. But this really is an opportunity for us to be able to show the young ladies how much we care about them. This is an investment in their future. That's what all of this is about. Okay, a couple of quick things we're going to be able to do. 
Your credit card should be locked and loaded and ready to go. It needs to be in the screen, upper right hand. You can click right there. Don't look for a big red arrow. That won't be there, but that little button will be there for you. And that allows you to get on there, get that credit card information, because here's what's going to happen. In this live auction, which is not like a normal live auction, we get a chance to jump around and play music and, and give uh, Tracy and, and Tim a hard time. This is just an opportunity for you to get on. We're only going to give you about two minutes for each one of these and it's going to happen fast. So the bidding is going to start at zero, and then we're going to brrr, try to get it up as quickly as possible. And again, we only have two minutes for this, so keep that in mind. As far as what the live auction items are, we've got four super duper ones. We're going to take you all around the world, and we'll take you to Mexico. you got four different choices there in Mexico, four different spots to go to. New York City, I don't know if you've ever been there before. I hear it's a nice place, just getting started. Uh, you can go to New York City as well, down in the Lower East Side, and then we're we're going to go over to Cedar Lakes Estate, uh, you know where that is, up in the Catskills, about 70 miles uh, out there in the Hudson, beautiful spot to go to, uh, nice little getaway there. And then also we'll go whoosh, all the way across, not to where I am right now, the Northwest, and that's the Willamette Valley, and that is in Oregon. You'll be probably staying at the Heathman Hotel in Portland. So those are the four live auction items that you need to know that you're going to be bidding on in just a little bit. And again, this is down and dirty, this is less, this is about a half an hour all together but we did this last year record amount of money <laughs> we were like are you kidding me we had a goal and just blew the roof off this place and just one more quick little personal thing i worked with uh, jordan for all those years miss lee i know you're watching where is it close up here I love you, and whoever hired you, you are brilliant. You have got an amazing development director. I can't wait to see what happens with CCC in the coming years. Okay, I can't stand here and do this because I've got to turn it over to the young ladies because they know far better than I do what's happening this evening. Here is uh, Kaylee and Amber. Ladies? This is Mr. Curley. I'm Amber, and I'm an eighth grader at Common Mills. And I'm Kaylee. I'm in the sixth grade at CMS. It's finally here. Welcome to the Conley Center's virtual benefit. We really appreciate you joining us tonight. Before we dive in, we wanted to tell you a little bit about Cornelia Conley Center. CCC is a nonprofit for girls on the Lower East Side. They empower girls at risk to realize their full potential. From fourth grade through college graduation, Amber and I are students in Conley Middle School, which is for girls in grades four through eight there, we learned character strengths like gratitude and joy are my favorite compassion. Perseverance is my favorite. You have to be determined and persevere to get where you want to be in life. And CCT helps us do that. Our school is really focused on academics, but they also genuinely care about supporting individual needs. What makes CCC really special is a program called GSP, which stands for Graduate Support Program. GSP starts working with us in the sixth grade and sticks, sticks with us all the way through until we graduate from college. GSP is working closely with me and my classmates to help us figure out which high school is the best fit for us and help us finalize our financial aid packages. GSP also promises that once we get there, they will support us financially with scholarships, do checkups to see how we're doing, and help us with homework and classes. They're always there when we need them. It's even more helpful that Ms. Maldonado and Ms. Casado both graduated from CMS and have gone through this before. I have big goals and GSP has really helped me get to where I want to be with high school. I was recently accepted into Marymount School of New York with a prestigious scholarship and I wouldn't have been able to get through their competitive admissions process without the amazing, amazing GSP team. The Connolly Center and GSP will stay by my side until I graduate from college in 2031 with GSP 2.0. CCC helps us apply to college, figure out financial aid, buy textbooks, and get home to see our families on breaks. I'm not scared to go to college because I know that I'll still have CCC, com the CCC community by my side to support and empower me. I agree, even in college, I know I will still have a family at CCC. We'd like to take a moment to thank all of you for making tonight possible. But I just want to add how grateful we are for the Sisters of the Society of the Holy Child Jesus. 
Without the society, CCC wouldn't exist, and we wouldn't have had known each other. In just a few minutes, we'll get to hear from our honorees, Bob and Beth O'Werther. In the meantime, you can check out our amazing, silent and live auction items. If you're planning to bid on a live auction item, make sure you add your credit card information. Ahead of time, ahead of time by clicking on the profile button in the upper right hand corner of your screen. You don't want to miss out on any of these great packages. Now I have the privilege of welcoming another CMS student, Haley Ann Fernandez, to the screen so she can introduce one of our honorees. I am so excited to be here introducing our honorees for the evening, Mr. Bob and Mrs. Beth Olwerther. Mrs. Olwerther used to help me with my homework while I was in fourth and fifth grade. I remember when she helped me with my reading when I was younger. I am very grateful for her now because I enjoy reading a lot. Mr. Olwerther has served on our board of trustees since 2015 and is currently the chief operating officer of Harlem Village Academies. CCC wouldn't be what it is without their dedication to our school, and we are so grateful for all they do for us. Without further ado, please welcome Mr. and Mrs. Olwerther. Wow, thank you, Haley Ann. I really can't wait till we can be together again in person. Beth and I are truly humbled by this song. We're proud to be in the company of Sean Bates. You will meet Sean shortly and understand why. We were introduced to the Connolly Center in 2011 at an event at the Center on East 4th Street. That evening, we met students, faculty, and school leaders, and we learned about the mission of the Center. We left the meeting knowing that something special was happening at the Connolly Center. Beth immediately began tutoring there, and whenever she returned home, we talked about what she observed. We love the continuity of the Connolly Center mission. When a girl enters fourth grade, the Conley Center commits to her for 13 years, all the way through college. After helping the girls obtain high school scholarships, the Conley Center pays for a significant amount of her high school tuition. In high school, the girls return to the center for homework and emotional support. In college, the Conley Center provides the girls with a small stipend for books and travel home. We are proud to be associated with the Connolly Center because of its record. For 27 years, almost 500 girls have benefited from its education and guidance. The high school graduation rate is almost 100%. The college graduation rate is four times the national average for low-income students. This is an incredible accomplishment. The Connolly Center does not receive any funding from the city of New York, the state of New York, or the Archdiocese of New York. It is completely funded by donations from people like you and like us. Obviously, the point of this evening. Another thing that we love about the Conley Center is that it's not just a school. The girls call it their second home. There is a true sense of joy that permeates everything. At other schools, bells ring as classes change. But at the Conley Middle School, Music blares, and of course, they dance. And all of this is only possible because of the amazing leadership and faculty at the Conley Center. We need to say thank you. Thank you again for honoring us this evening. Thank you to all of the generous Conley Center donors, staff, and volunteers. A very special thank you to our family and friends who have contributed to the Conley Center, knowing its importance to us. Thank you everyone for joining us tonight. The theme of this evening is Imagine Her Future. The future of the Cornelia Conley girls relies on us. Thank you in advance for your generosity. Thank you. That was incredible. Thank you again for all you do for our school. Now I'd like to welcome a graduate from our school who is here to be honored tonight. When she was at CMS, she was really interested in singing. I remember being so inspired watching her compete in our annual singing competition, Holy Child Idol, and being amazed by her confidence. She continues to use her confidence to succeed in her academics and extracurriculars at Notre Dame High School as she prepares to go to college next year. She is a great example of someone who is living up to character strengths we all learn at CCC. 
Without further ado, welcome Sean. Good evening everyone. My name is Sean Bates and I am honored to be the student honoree for this 2021 CCC Imagine Her Future virtual benefit. I would like to start off by expressing my gratitude toward the CCC staff and the entire community for continuing to open their arms to me and truly making this building a second home. I attended Girls Prep Elementary School located on Houston Street, which is not too far from here. And it was basically a rite of passage for the graduating class to automatically be ushered into the middle school. However, I was introduced to the CCC by a very close friend of mine. And I can honestly say that it's become a small community unlike any other. Upon my first time visiting the school, I remember the instant warmth I felt, not only from the people, but from the building itself. It felt safe and very comfortable. And my heart knew that this was the place I was meant to find. Looking back, I have created some of the most significant connections, friends, and mentorships of my entire life. The lessons I've learned during my time here at CCC have impacted and influenced me to this day. And I'm now a senior, graduating from Notre Dame High School in just 112 days. Um, I'm pleased to tell you all that in the fall, I'll be attending the number two HBCU in the country, Howard University. Getting into Howard was my dream, and with the help and support of my CCC family, I was able to make that dream a reality. I learned not only how to be a good student that turned in her papers on time and homework on time, but I also learned how to be a good and kind person, and one that helps out in any way she can and uplifts those around her. CCC has instilled in me the morals and values that I hold in my heart, that I spread out to others, and that I continue to lean on each and every day. Some may say it was fate that brought me to the doors of Cornelia Connolly Center all those years ago, but I consider it pure luck. Thank you all for listening to me tonight and allowing me to share my experiences, and I hope you all enjoy the rest of your evenings. Isn't that nice? That is great. Congratulations, Sean. Congratulations. Howard should be very proud to have you, and I'm sure you're going to do great things there. All right, everybody. Here we go. If it's a live walk, she'll be jumping around on stage, sweating and giving a hard time to everybody in the room about buying tickets to go see the Yankees. But here's the way we're going to do it. We're going to put two minutes on the clock. Not yet. We're going to talk to you a little bit about the items and you're going to bid on them. OK, they've got levels from 500 to 1000. You're going to get in there. You should most likely have your credit card already locked in and ready to go. OK. Let's take a look. We got four of them. We'll take a look at here comes item number one. This is chance to go to Mexico. We got four different locations for you. Go to Cabo. You can go to Puerto Vallarta. You can go up into uh, Cancun. Anyone. They're all terrific resorts depending on where you would like to be. Great article in the Wall Street Journal. Let's put, we'll run the clock. Here we go. Great article in the Wall Street Journal just about two weeks ago saying there is a pent up demand for travel. Everybody wants to travel and everyone is going to be heading out. We're extremely flexible with uh, you and your travel needs and your concerns. You should know that. You're not locked in on any particular date at all, uh, but you will have a fabulous time. Pick any one of these locations in Mexico. You will have a great time. One minute and 40 seconds. Bids are coming in now on this one. Top bid in at $1,000. Here you go. Get in there and get this. Another great article I saw just yesterday. The airlines have never been cleaner. The airports are absolutely fabulous, uh, except for LaGuardia. Uh, and you will be able to know that you're traveling in safety and comfort. So again, with one minute and 30 seconds on the clock, these are any one of the great Mexican getaways, all yours. I stayed at that one near Cancun. My wife and I were standing in line. She goes, oh, look, the buffet's open. So she's in a bikini. I can't believe I'm telling this story. And she's going down the buffet line in the bikini, just going, oh, look at this food is great. This food's amazing. And then all of a sudden she turns around and realizes when she sees the woman in a uh, bridal gown that it's actually a wedding. And she's eating from the wedding buffet in a bikini. Uh, I was like, this is classic. Will she put back the roast beef? No, she didn't put the rack. Kept the and went for the crab leg. That's power. She's a New Yorker through and through. 43 seconds on this one. Don't forget, you can go to any one of these great Mexican spots. The one in Cancun is great. Puerto Vallarta is a nice kid. Cabo, of course, always classic. Top bid coming in with $3,000 is the top bid. Who's in on that bid? I can't even see who the person is. Oh, is it Donald? Donald Norton? And, uh, oh my gosh, John is right there. John and uh, uh, Bob get in on this one as well. Donald is going to take this with 20 seconds left. The top bid is $3,000. Don't miss out. Again, you get down to Mexico and have a fabulous 
fabulous time. We are extremely flexible with when you would like to go to Mexico. It looks like Donald will take this one away with a top bid of $3,000, and that is most likely going to be the case. So there we go. This is going to be item number one. That is item number one. Three places to go to Mexico, have a fabulous time, whether it was Cabo or you wanted to go to Puerto Vallarta or you wanted to go to Cancun. All of them are great and lots and lots of deals right now. Book those deals on Alaska Airlines and get down there as fast as you can. Looks like the winner for this one will be Donald Norton. Congratulations to you, Mr. Norton, taking the first one. Here we go. By the way, a little bit of Spanish when you're down there, Don. Uh, mi tía pluma en la mesa. Now, my aunt's pen is on the table. That's all I remember. Six years of Spanish. Mi tía pluma en la mesa. No, mi padre trabaja en la biblioteca. There, you can use that as well, Bob, Don. All right, here comes item number two. Item number two for you up on the block is New York City. This is really nice. People come in from out of town. You're like, where should you stay? I'll tell you what we'll do for you. We'll take them downtown. Let's put two minutes on the clock. We'll take them downtown. We'll go to the Lower East Side. And you can probably stay at the Citizens M. It's really cool. I'm not telling you to stay there. I'm just saying I've stayed there. It's a really nice little boutique hotel. All sorts of great boutique hotels down the Lower East Side of Manhattan. Of course, you go over to Ray's Pizza. I used to live at 64th East 11th. I know that whole area in there. And you know the east side of uh, New York City for a lot of people. They like to stay midtown or they want to go, you know, want to be like where everything's happening in Marriott up town, 42nd Lex. It's like, no, go downtown, go east side. Lower east side part of Manhattan, absolutely gorgeous. Nice little walking tour included in here. Top bid for you. This is for people that are coming in from out of town. You've got it taken care of for you. A nice little getaway for them. It's so funny, when I moved uptown to 94th and Broadway, my friends that were Lower East Side are like, we'll never see you again. I go, no, I'll, I'll see you. They're like, no, you're dead to us. It is so weird how you move from like just six blocks away and your entire world shifts. So for those of you that live in New York and you've never been to the Lower East Side, I highly recommend it. You'll have fun with one minute and 11 seconds on this one. Here's your opportunity to jump in. This is item number two. Top bid coming in at $2,000. Have fun down there. And uh, of course, and this is great for people in from out of town that are coming in. You've got the whole thing taken care of for you. It's a $900 gift card. Uh, for you at any one of the hotels. And as I said before, some really nice boutiques. And look at this, uh, Steve Colbert's show. You're gonna have tickets to go see uh, Stephen Colbert. He does always great interviews. It's interesting to see how he's changing a little bit now that we have a new president in the White House. Writers are doing things differently and they can't wait to get back in the studio and have you in that studio as well. So this is a fun item for people. And again, we're extremely flexible when it comes to the dates. We wanna work with you so that you feel comfortable. This is item number two. It looks like top fit on this one, Joe Taylor comes in. Joseph Taylor's in. And Kathy and Steve Clements right behind them and will lose out on this for $500. And I gotta tell you something, uh, Kathy, this is not like you. You haven't quit anything since the Girl Scouts. And I, I can't imagine you losing out on this one. With the final time remaining, it looks like Joe Taylor will take this one. This will be lot number two. That's New York City, a chance to see Stephen Colbert and have a $900 gift card to any one of the great hotels that are gonna be waiting for you down there in the Lower East Side. Top bidder takes this one away with a top bid of $2,000. And yes, it is Joseph Taylor. All righty, see this? We're ripping right through them, aren't we? You ready? Here comes lot three, lot three up on the board. This is really cool, Cedar Lake Estates. If you haven't been there before, you know where we're going. We're going out to the Catskills. It's about 70 miles from New York City. Head on up there. We'll put two minutes on the clock and here we go. This used to be a really cool little camp from the 1920s to 1980s. It was run as a camp and then it sort of started to morph and then in 2011 two sisters bought it. One of them was doing Manhattan weddings. I'm sure she's got lots of stories. And the other sister uh, ended up going off to Italy and to France and studying to cook. Now you get two sisters together with that type of artistic abilities, you have got a really cool getaway. So this is going to be your opportunity to stay in a gorgeous spot. There's a cozy one. I think it's called Cottage Pines. There are 16, I believe, these little cabins, and they're just gorgeous right along the lake. The one that you want to ask for, and again, I think it's called the Cottage Pines, is uh, it comes with a rowboat. It's got a barbecue and in a wood-burning stove, and that would be a really nice one. All of them are great. They've got a nice little breakfast they can do for you. They've got great food as well. Saturdays and Sundays, call ahead, get yourself 
uh, a seat there at the table and have fun. This is a great little getaway. For us, you know what? Head on up there. Even in the winter, it is beautiful. I mean, it is picture postcard perfect. This is item number three. To go up there and just reminisce, you'll feel like you're back in summer camp. There's all sorts of cool stuff to do. And it's a nice little getaway for you. It looks like Colin's going to take this one away for $3,500. No, $4,000. Maria and Danielle, or Daniel, come in with a top bid of $4,000 with 37 seconds left. Colin, please, really, you're going to let this go for $500? This is your chance to relive the magical years when you went away to summer camp. Right? Remember sleepaway camp? Remember that? Yes, here you go, Colin. Jump back in there. Maria and Daniel will take it away for $4,000 with the last 21 seconds remaining on this. This is your cat skills, your getaway to a really cool spot. Call ahead, check it out. I'm pretty sure they're going to work with you on the dates on this, but certainly be able to plan ahead. Any time of the year is a perfect time to be there. And it looks like Maria and Dan will, Dan will take this one away for $4,000 for the last few seconds remaining on this. As Colin misses out on it, but top bid for $4,000. That's the way to go. Looks like you guys will be going to the Catskills. As I say, uh, every once in a while, I've saw this statistic that According to Men's Health Magazine, let you know, Daniel, that if you travel 35 miles from home, your chance of, 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 of having a romantic evening goes up 85%. We'll, we'll put it that way. Okay, you ready? Fourth and final, here we go. Ready? This is wine tasting, Willamette Valley. Willamette Valley is really taking off. Barbara Banky, who owns La Crema and um, uh, Kendall Jackson, just bought, I don't know how many hundreds and hundreds of acres. This is the Pinot Noir capital. They're really trying to come in there and just shake things up. The Chardonnays and the Pinots are just fabulous coming out of the Winnet Valley. And this is your chance to be there. So we're going to go there and have some fun. That's right. We'll have two minutes on the clock and we're counting down now. This is your wine tasting. You can go into Portland to stay at the Heathman Hotel. Really cool little boutique hotel. By the way, if you've ever been to Portland, you've ever been to Oregon, no sales tax. So go crazy at Nordstrom while you're there. That's the Heathman Hotel. They've got 3,000 signed copies of books. Plus, when it comes to going and staying at the bed and breakfast right next to Willamette Valley, you can't go wrong as well. So this is a fun getaway. We'll fly you in there. The Knutson Vineyard, it's a family-run organization since 1971. They've won gold awards when it came to both the Pinot and the Chardonnay. Really terrific. 2018-2019 gold awards for both of those wines. It is gorgeous. Get there. By the way, best time to be there in the Winnet Valley is going to be late July up until about October, and then things get kind of dicey when it comes to the weather, so keep that in mind. With 52 seconds left on this, Robert's in there. Bob! Hey, Bob! Nice to see you. Hey, Bob. I wrote to Bob this morning, and Bob told me an amazing story, and I can't wait to share it with you. We're at $7,000 on this. This is a chance to head on out to Willamette Valley. And Bob, by the way, you guys need to come by and see me. Let me know when you're in the Northwest, because I have the greatest admiration for you, and your wife, and your love for CCC. Top bid coming in. Oh, Bob just stopped bidding. Well, that's a shame. Must have been me trying to spend some time with him. Okay, that's awkward. No, I'm kidding. Bob's in at $7,000 with 20 seconds left. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous trip for you, and it's just waiting for you to head out to the Northwest. Again, very flexible with you in the dates. As I said before, when it comes to weather, you're looking at late July till about October. That's when things are really, really beautiful, and then the rain pours in. All right, there we go with the final seconds remaining. It looks like Bob will take this one away, and here we go. This is, with the final seconds, this one will go most likely for $7,000. Yes, it does, and it is gone. All right. Thank you. Look at that. See that? Four live auction items all going top bids. Thank you, everybody. Now, listen, if you've missed out on any one of these live, there comes your chance to give because this is really the heart of CCC. And as I said before, for those of you that know the story, and you must because you're watching right now, and I know the story, that's why I'm here right now because we have such incredible faith uh, in, in the young ladies that are able to attend Cornelia Connolly Center. As my father said, God rest his soul, he said, you know, it's the saddest thing, the greatest sins are lost potential. When you have a gift that never gets nourished, never gets recognized, they always felt that that was the saddest moment. So this is an opportunity for us to recognize potential. I asked Bob this morning, I wrote him, and he was telling me about I, I didn't know this, that every morning when the girls come into school, each one is recognized by their name. 
everyone knows everyone. I mean, you walk in the door, as you come in the door, it's part of that morning sort of routine that for some would think to be, you know, just part of everyday life. But for the young ladies that are coming through those doors, yes, you are here, and they say the name, they recognize the person, they welcome them, and what an amazing, well, who wouldn't want that every single day? Okay, you ready? We are gonna start at a big level. We're gonna work our way all the way across and every single dollar will be appreciated and honored. This is an opportunity, as I said before, imagine like a key that unlocks a door and then the future is as vast and wide, as exciting as it could possibly be because that's what you're doing. You are unlocking the imagination and the intellect of these young ladies and they're taking on the world. So we saw Sean earlier talking about she's going to Howard University next year. Where's she going in life? anywhere she wants because of you right now. If anybody would like to give at $10,000, this is the level that you can give. And again, we welcome every donation, but we're taking the 10,000s at this point. If anybody would like to give at $10,000, this is about this time last year that we blew the roof off the place. We had a certain goal in mind, as we do right now, which is $200,000, but we'd love to see anybody that would like to come in at 10,000. Colin comes in, thank you very much, at 10,000. There's John uh, Singer coming in at 10,000. All of these gifts at 10,000, thousand dollars this is really an investment in the future if you didn't buy Tesla and you didn't get in on that whole crazy thing that was going on with GameStop this is the greatest return you can possibly make right because you think about it like a pebble in a pond and the ripples that go from there because each one of these young ladies goes out in the world and takes everything that they learned the idea that Sean talked about She's learned to be a good person, a kind person. She carries all of that with her. And every single person that she interacts with experiences everything from Cornelia Connolly Center. I can't say enough great things about it. You obviously feel the same way, John and Colin, coming in with your gifts of 10,000. Thank you very much. Moving on to the next level of $5,000. So you get it at 5,000. This is a wonderful opportunity to come on in. If we're gonna get a goal of 200,000 as we're moving towards that goal right now, you'll see where we are on it. We're gonna try to get, oh, there it is. Well, 123,720, we'll get to 200,000. You just wait and see. These are the levels coming in at $5,000. You like to give at this level? Here comes your chance right now. Again, these are investments in the future. These are your chances to say, I don't like the way the world is turning out rather than sitting and complaining in front of the laptop or the television, whatever it is, this is your way of just simply saying, nope, it will not stand. Here is a donation because I believe in what happens at Cornelia Connolly Center every single day, starting in the morning with someone's name. Think about how simple that is, but how elegant that is and how warm and inviting you must feel. That's why I said I'm coming back. About if, it's, if, if reincarnation's a thing, I will be a student there in 20, I don't want to kill myself off too soon. Like 20, 20, 2052, somewhere in there. Okay, got it. Top, these are folks coming in. There's Sally Fillmore with 5,000. Thank you, and Sally. And there's Bob and Teresa. Thank you very much for your gift and thank you for your support on the board as well, Bob and Teresa. And Jenny comes in with a gift of $5,000. And look at this, we're now at 158,000. We've got only about $58,000 or about $50,000, $42,000 to gift to our goal of 200,000. Pretty sure we're going to get there as they can continue to come in. There's Kathy and Steve Clements. Thank you very much. You're bidding on those live auction items. And there you go, coming in with a gift of $5,000. You already know the numbers. You know what happens for the girls that aren't going to CCC. And you know what happens when the girls leave those doors at CCC. You know about the 97% that graduates. What is it? What makes it so special? And I was watching a really cool video that Bob had sent me this morning. And to see the personal hands-on, so two teachers in the rooms and then after they leave Cornelia Connolly Center through high school you still have an advocate working with them still checking in with them still making sure that they're on track and then even when they're in college there is someone still with them checking on them can you imagine that type of support I mean they get enough love from their mom and dad from their grandmother aunt and uncle but then to have that person has with them and known them since when they were little kids Think about that, John. When you're at uh, uh, Howard, you can always call back and say, hey, I want to talk to somebody. And they'll be there every step of the way. These are all the gifts coming in at $5,000. If anybody else would like to give, you may join a very, very generous crowd. Thank you, Dennis, very much for your gift of $5,000. Moving on to $2,500. Is this the level you'd like to give? By the way, if you gave it five, 
you've taken care of books for everybody. How about that? At $2,500, again, every single dollar here is greatly appreciated and will be well spent. It is, a, it is an opportunity for you to be able to, again, to change the future. Is $2,500 your level? This is an opportunity for you to come in right now at $2,500. $100. We're moving towards that goal. We're at 163,000. You're going to get it tonight. You know you'll get it tonight. And it's a sense of like, well, there's a Zoom call that paid off. I mean, everybody else is all Zoomed out. But here you are in New York City and watching or anywhere in the world watching and changing the future. Think about that. If you would be able to just have a crystal ball and the ball shows you what the future is, but if you were to take that ball, replace it, bring in another one, and then actually have an effect upon the future. This is your opportunity right now. At $2,500, you can do that. And there we are. That's Robert and Bob come in and Donald Norton, who, by the way, congratulations, Don, on your trip to Mexico. And there's your $2,500. There's Travis Garvin. Thank you very much for $2,500 as well. These never recognize these names. These are regular supporters. The grants are in there again. They're at $2,500. So this is a chance at $2,500. So we've done $10,000 and 5,000, and 2,500. And I hope the young ladies right now at Cornelia Conley Center are watching this going, that's a lot of money. Yeah, that is. And you know why, ladies? You know why? Where's the close up over here? You know why? I'll tell you why. Because we believe in you. You understand that? You don't know these people, but they love you. Big responsibility. Here we go, moving on to the next level of $1,000. Watch these gifts coming in at $1,000. These are everybody at 1,000 bucks. I was always like to say $83 a month, $1,000 gifts. Here they come. If you like to give at $1,000, we'll try to get your name on that screen as you give in here. $172,000 is what we've raised, trying to get to $200,000. You know we'll get there. Thank you very much, Jeff. Jeff Simon gives $1,000. See what Jeff does at giving $1,000. Thank you, Jeff. Thanks for being with us this evening. And again, young ladies, you're watching. Every single person here is investing in your future. It's not pressure, it's love, courage, and confidence that we're giving you that you get every single day at CCC. We believe in you. Who else does? Rita believes in you, and so does Kyle believes in you. And John, uh, back in again. John, thank you very much for your gift. Barbara and Bill, thank you very much for your help and being on the board and helping every single day. And there's your gift of $1,000. Amy Russo and Joyce, thank you for your gift of $1,000. This is terrific. There's Kyle's back in at $1,000. That's all the names, and that's people that are giving it $1,000. And we're marching towards our goal of $183. We're trying to get to $200,000. We'll get right on up there. You wait and see. We have only have this level of $1,500, and that's going to be it. This is your chance to give right now at $1,000. If anybody else would like to give in, there's Gretchen gives in at $1,000. And Barbara, thank you very much at a thousand dollars amy russo we've got you at a thousand already thank you very much so those are the gifts coming in at one thousand dollars next level is going to be 500 we'll take the 500s you can give at any level after that but these are the ones that are sort of set in this program right here you ready here we go. As the gifts are coming in, Mary Ruth, thank you very much. I don't want to miss an opportunity to thank Mary for her $1,000. Right there, we're right on the edge. There's another graduate. You know why she's graduating and smiling? Well, first of all, because you helped her a couple of years ago, plus also she's just glad she doesn't have to wear. There's no way anyone can look great in that hat. It's so hard, isn't it? I mean, you spend all of those hard hours learning your every single thing you need to pass every test, and then they put a hat on you, and you can never quite look smart enough in it. I just remember I got a perm my senior year, horrible mistake, and then I had the hat on and the hat and the thing and the perm. It was a desperate two hours. Okay, here we go, sorry about that. $500, you ready? <laughs> here we go, last chance to give at these levels and here they come. Emma, thank you very much. Mary Cahill, thank you for your gift as well. And Karen, here come the 500s. We're gonna get right now to $200,000. Everybody that got a perm in high school that regretted it, right now your chance to give. Here we go, everybody in. Let's see, anybody else gets in here. There's Karen, I've got Emma as well. Uh, there's Miss Fitzgerald is in there and Mary Cahill and Sam, Sally Morris is in there. Here they all come. Mary McGinn, thank you 
very much, Mary, for your gift of $500 as well. There's Kate Sullivan. All the Irish are coming out. And Barbara and Bill Heck, thank you for your gift of $500. And there, look at that. Boom. We're going to all pass $200,000. We always underestimate the generosity in this room. And you're watching right now and you're giving. Perhaps even you have an opportunity to call a friend and say, hey, listen, I know my birthday's coming up. I'd rather you make a donation to change the future. That's what you can do right now. More gifts coming in. Thank you very much, Kate, thank you. So here we are, last chance to give at 500. And the other part of this is, you can still keep giving. If you didn't wanna give at 500 or 1,000, if that was a little too much for your budget right now, gifts of 500, gifts of $5, $50, $25, $100, every single dollar is appreciated. As we roll towards and over the goal, $202,385, isn't that sweet? Isn't that nice? And last chance to be able to give at the $500 level. If anybody else would like to give at 500, here is your chance. Last chance, Barbara and Bill, I see you in there, and that's nice. All right, I'll tell you what we can do at this point. The gifts keep coming, you keep giving, that's the important thing. And I'll just say this, to the young ladies, I can't wait to see all of you again next year. And for everybody, we're all together again, made it through a difficult time. We did this last year and we set a record. And then again, this year, we've gone above and beyond what we expected to give. And the reason is, is because this is a great community. Young ladies, you have incredibly caring, loving people behind you. You cannot fail. You can fail. You get back up again. We'll be there for you. Some of the greatest bits of learning occur when mistakes are made. You can make them. You're still loved. The courage, the confidence that you need in order to be the best that you can possibly be. We're with you every single step of the way. All right. As all the gifts have come in and everybody enjoy those trips that you've just won in that live auction. For everyone at CCC, I'm John Curley. Hope to see you next year. Have yourself a safe and wonderful summer. Bye-bye, everyone. Thanks for giving.